you guys doing today? Welcome to Xavier's World. How you guys doing today? I have my coffee right here. Yes, guys, I have my coffee. Today, guys, I thought I would do a fun, exciting video about <gasps> Six Flags because when it comes to Six Flags, guys, I am a professional. I am the biggest expert at Six Flags. I have been going to Six Flags for the past like 30 plus years. My family always took us to Six Flags when we were little. We would go every weekend. And then when uh, school was out for the summer, we would go like during the week. We would have so much fun. We rode rides. Um, my biggest fear at Six Flags was the roller coasters. I did not do roller coasters. But now, roller coasters are my all-time favorite. I just get on it and go for it. Yeah, it looks scary. Um... Because everybody's kind of nervous about roller coasters and stuff. But you know what? You just get on it and go for it and do it. You know, you're going to die one way or another, right? Um, when, you know, I recommend that, you know, if you're here at our Six Flags, here at our local St. Louis Six Flags, um, they have one of the best uh, roller coasters here. Um, now, certain ro uh, Six Flags, um, like I know in Texas, um, they do have a bigger water park than we do they have more things of water park that I know for a fact because I have a best friend who lives and I have family that lives in Texas and they have told me um, they have told me about their Six Flags um, you know and then um, I know that there's another Six Flags that has more roller coasters than we do um, but yeah, um, when I first started going to Six Flags with my husband, I was nervous about roller coasters. I did try a roller coaster before, um, and it was on the Batman, and I kind of got hurt on the Batman. Um, I, when you come in from going around and everything, you start to come in, it goes forward, and all of a sudden when it does, it jerks you back. Like, it just goes forward, and then it slams on its brakes. Well, I went like this with my head, and I... I got whiplash in my neck and I hurt myself pretty bad. I couldn't move. So now when I write it, I'm more careful, guys. But that was my bad experience on a roller coaster at Six Flags. Um, but when you come to our St. Louis Six Flags, you want to try the Mine Train. The Mine Train is the easiest roller coaster. It has no upside downs. It has no twists, nothing like that. It doesn't go super fast. Um, I would say the fastest it goes is like 45 miles an hour. It's like in a car. It's not that bad. Um, it's it's really easy. And then you after you work your way up on that, um, then you want to ride like Screaming Eagle. Again, there's no twists or upside down. Um, the only two roller coasters that well actually no there yeah there's two. The only two roller coasters that have um, twists and go upside down is the Batman and the Ninja, where we're at. And then I would say after Screaming Eagle, do American Thunder. And then if you can do American Thunder, try the Ninja and then Batman. And then the last and final roller coaster is the Boss. The Boss is the fastest roller coaster that we have here. It goes 75 miles an hour. Um, but it goes faster at night because the track cools down. Um, and there's less friction on the wheels and that I know for a fact because I have uh, one of my friends um, works um, on the boss and yeah so that's why and the boss is my all-time favorite I'll ride the boss first because it's just my favorite um, but if you're not a big roller coaster fan they also do have at our Six Flags they do have lots of shows and entertainment for you guys um, I know for some of, you know, there's, there's all kinds of things for young and, you know, middle-aged and then older people that they do have. They have all kinds of things for everybody. There's a mixture of everything. Um, like I said, they have lots of shows, entertainment, um, you know, a lot of games for kids. They also have a dedicated area just for kids. It's the Looney Tune area. That's the smaller and easier rides for little kids which is kind of nice um, and then parents can sit up there and talk you know and sit and relax um, we also do have the water park um, it is fun in the water park we have a lot of water slides we have a, a ride called the tornado um, I know my bestie 
is looking forward to riding that ride. Um, I have done that ride, or that, it's like a water tunnel, it's a big, uh, like a tunnel thing, and you just go down and come out. Um, I have done that, but my problem is I hate it because I always end up going down backwards, and that's annoying. <laughs> so I'm hoping this year she goes down backwards first this time instead of me. But um, we have that. Then we have like the dark tunnel slides that you can go under, and then we also have, um, we call ours, uh, there's a big red slide, we call it the Big Kahuta, and it's just a big circle that you just sit in and you just ride down the slide, you know, with everybody. Um, that's my favorite, but it's a long, long, long walk up the, um, the stairs. Um, yeah, they have that. That's, it's pretty, it's, it's a long walk. So if you want to ride that, it's going to take you a while to get up there. Your legs hurt by the time you get up there, your legs start stinging a little bit when you get to the top up there because it's really up there. Um, but it's my favorite ride and it's worth it. Um, but like I said, Six Flags is just a really, um, fun place. Um, my husband and I go every year, you know, um, they do have lots and lots of food up there. They, you know, there's a thing called the dining pass that you could add on to your Six Flags pass. Um, they also have the free parking, which we, uh, we have the special upgrading, uh, parking at our Six Flags. We can reserve um, parking up there special for us, which is pretty cool. So we don't have to walk so far to Six Flags, you know, to the parking lot. We're just like right there, um, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, Six Flags is just a really fun place, you guys. And, you know, it's kind of like, I'm not going to say it's exactly like it. I'm not going to try to compare it to Disney World or Disneyland, but it's like they, Florida has their Disney World. We have our Six Flags. It's like our big theme park that everybody knows that everybody goes to. We have people from Illinois that come over here to our Six Flags because apparently ours is better um, than theirs. I know they have more rides. They have like more roller coasters and their water park is not, is not as big as ours. Um, so yeah, because I have friends that live over in Illinois and they tell me about their Six Flags all the time. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I look forward to going to Six Flags and, you know, if you guys ever see me at Six Flags, you know, come to me because I'm an expert. I can tell you anything you want to know about Six Flags. I can tell you about the rides and stuff. So, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, please hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload a video because you guys don't want to miss that. And I know Xavier has some exciting videos coming your way, so stay tuned for that. And also, guys, if you did not hear it from me, it is not the truth. And remember, God does love you. Bye.